Camera Obscura, Through the Eyes of a Child. Inspired by the wordless Wednesday postings from the Coil community, I decided to upload pictures that my four-year-old has taken with his toy camera. But first, a little context. With the advancement of technology, most of us carry in our pockets every day a device that only a few years ago, the specifications would have considered it to be a high-end camera. The saying goes, the best camera is the one you always have with you. And goodness me, are we taking lots of pictures. Living in the picturesque Vienna, it's not long after leaving your front door that you are stumbling over people taking pictures. Walking through Vienna's iconic Nashmarkt is akin to a selfie stick gauntlet like something out of the TV show Gladiators. With imitation being a major factor in the growth of our children, it is now almost a development stage in itself when your child asks you if they can take a picture. God help us. Rather than lead him down the path of generic portraits in front of landmarks, photos that have been taken a thousand times before, or perish the thought half-naked selfies, I decided to steer his interest in photography into a learning opportunity. I bought a cheap children's digital camera from Tybell on Amazon. Something fun for him that he can carry around his neck when we go on photo missions, or if we go for a ride on our bicycle. I have taught him how to turn it on and how to take a picture. I feel if I show him the extra features or how to review his pictures, this will distract him from the main goal, to take a picture. Although he has since discovered that there is a rear-facing selfie camera, leaving a series of grotesque face impressions. Our first lesson, or theme, derived from something that I learned at university. Punctum. For punctum is also to sting, speck, cut, it's a little hole, and also a cast of the dice. A photograph's punctum is that accident which pricks me, but also bruises me, it is poignant to me. Roland Barthes, Camera Lucida. I have tried to put across to him that he should try and capture something that really interests him, something that jumps out at him, stings him. Also, with a little help, if I spot something that I think would achieve this, I give him a little nudge. Wouldn't that be a really cool photograph? In the beginning, he went around taking pictures of his drawings, his toys, me, his favourite characters when they came on the screen. Oh, and his feet. So many pictures of his feet. But as he was left to his own devices, he started to really capture things from his perspective. How he sees the world. Looking through his photos, I started to realise he has two factors, which gives him a little edge in some of his photos. Number one. He has no fear. He hasn't learned that taking pictures in certain situations is socially frowned upon. And if I find him in a situation where he is about to take a picture he shouldn't, I gently stop him and tell him why. But, with his lack of fear, there is no hesitation. And especially in regards to street photography, this is actually a real plus. I also find that people are a lot more forgiving when a child is taking a picture of them. Either they think that the camera is not real, or well, there are less fears of something bad becoming of that photo, and they usually smile. Number two, his vantage point. I remember listening to a TED talk from David Yarrow talking about his nature photography. He talks about trying to keep the line of eyesight lower than the subject, which helps capture character, creates intimacy, and elicits interest and immersion. Being four years old, he naturally has a lower line of eyesight. Some of his pictures are taken from a vantage point looking upwards, where, unless you were crouching down all the time, you wouldn't necessarily see quite often. Anyway, context out of the way, please find a few photos taken by the little maestro. I hope to post more of these, without words, every Wednesday.